the last corridor, and there's no reception. So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments... Actually, that's... I think he's trying to like not sound like Sans. In a few moments, you'll meet the king. Together, you'll determine the future of this world. That's that. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. <laughs> What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. <laughs> A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you? <laughs> you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? <laughs> Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here... <laughs> will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgo will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgo and go home, <laughs> monsters will remain trapped in the underground. <laughs> what would you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the tower by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So long as you hold on, so long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. <laughs> well, okay, tonight, you kid. Good luck. I wonder why Toby picked Sans for all of this. Like, what the big idea motivations? In so far in Delta Rune, he's just like. What the? Oh, that's a wall. <clears throat> As you may have noticed, no one in home fights us because. After Meditant, everyone is kind of assumes that the fighting's over. There's no more fight left to have. These are all the human bodies of all the humans that have been killed so far. And our body is left. Although, depending on who you ask, this character is not Safi. This character is Frisk. We are merely the controller of Frisk throughout this entire journey. Safi being gone is mostly because Azriel took the body. We're almost there. But, okay. Asgore's fight has nuances. Oh, Lava brings you to the track. I need to go to the battle. If I recall correctly, you can eat the the the, 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 the butterscotch pie and it makes him sad. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's so much to this. Genocide Ronnie dies instantly because you're not one of the intended fights. At this point, you've already done the Sans fight, so you're kind of done. Consuming Toriel's butterscotch pie during the fight, which reminds Asgore of her, lowers his attack by one and his death by five. Talking to Asgore three times, if the player has not killed anyone else, lowers his attack by one and his death by ten. What are his stats? He's a boss monster, so he's supposed to be pretty tough. 80-80. The game says 10 minus 30. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I guess that's, you know. Gosh, there's so much to it. Asgore doesn't talk a lot, though. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take out that old musty pie. 
that's been sitting and rotting in that box all this time. Where is it? There we go. And we'll take the Solomon piece with us, because he deserves to be there too. What are my items? Dog residue. I need to get that out of here. That's not useful anymore. Not intend to use either of those. I'll just take out some nice stuff. <laughs> I got a fight to worry about, bucko. Dum de dum. Oh, there's someone there. Just a moment. <laughs> I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? It's here, Asgore. You're gonna have to kill one more boy and destroy humanity now, aren't you? Promises you don't intend to keep it up! <laughs> I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Can only procrastinate for so long, Asgore. This has got to happen. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. And kids like you should probably not be in hell. That'd be weird. The f perfect weather for a game of catch. His face changes the whole time. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. YOLO PRO BRO! Sorry, I have to say it. It's a throne. Ah, how tense. Just think of it like uh, a visit to the dentist. Those noodles were absolute garbage. Why did I take them? The core is in the way, and we're too far away, I imagine. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. The barrier looks so weird! This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. I thought, I've been told, at the very least, that apparently you can go back before actually fighting Asgore to do the true pacifist ending. A.K.A. you never actually have to beat him up. You never actually have to go through with this fight. Um, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, I'll look something up. I think if I go to the Alpha section, I can figure this out. I mean, it's Alphas. On the true pacifist route. After the reverse, the letter. When do you get it? Main story. If the protagonist spares Flowey after his battle, no experience, he tells the protagonist to backtrack and see Alphys. You have to earn the neutral route, buckos. I don't know why someone said that you could do it otherwise. I imagine we can get some better items, but let's just make this work. We'll make it work. Oh, back so soon. How are you feeling? I'm feeling ready. I see. <sighs> this is it then. Ready. You don't have the guts to use them. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. 
You are filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Yeah, bucko. You ain't cheesing this one. These are not potatoes. Bow, bow. You... Asgore has no check text because monsters can change that, and he's not in the mood. Woo! Spicy boy. I quietly tell Osborne I don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh gosh, I'm very, very out of it right now. You have no idea. I ate the butterscotch pie, and the smell reminds Asgore of something. Holy cannolis attacks are goofy. Time to beat him up. 100 points. Gosh darn it, I can't focus. My brain is just full of goop. It's like they moves, that's why. That should end in a moment. Bam! Smackers. Too slick, too smooth! Getting lucky on those. Really lucky. Smack! Kablamo. I might actually equip the dagger. Because <laughs> kind of need it. I'm just a little man! So slick, so smooth! I actually have no idea how much um, lowering a stat actually matters, but I appreciate it. Blammers! Starting to feel it, but to be fair, so am I. Oh, 
God damn it, because I stopped. Check ass. Smackers! I hate this move so much. Don't know what it is. I just can't focus on it, alright? I just can't focus. I got to say. <sighs> so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted by my actions. I, she left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Doesn't matter, though. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live in happiness on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie, we could, like, a family. Or you could get utterly destroyed by a flower. Because I left you at one hit point, baby. Boink! Flowey doesn't need that one. He needs mine. You idiot! You have to learn a thing. In this world... It's kill, or be killed. Let's rumble. And he crashes the game like a jackass. What a, what a jackass. 15, oh, 18.